This is VETT 220, task 26, which is a urinary catheter in a male cat. Um, we're gonna do a simulation, but first I'm gonna show you the supplies that we have collected down here to perform the procedure. So we have a sterile Tomcat catheter, still in the package here. We have a 5cc syringe that you can see there that's still in the package and sterile as well. We have a plain white top uh, tube that we're gonna label with the patient's name and we have a 22 gauge needle to attach to this 5cc syringe once we have our sterile sample collected. We also have some sterile lube that we've dispensed onto this gauze. We're wearing gloves and we're also um, going to cleanse the tip of the penis with a little bit of gauze soaked in the 2% uh, chlorhexidine solution. So we have those wetted down as well. So we're going to go ahead and move on to um, positioning our patient and having an assistant restrain properly. Um, again, this is going to be the simulation, not the actual task, um, because we have a live patient. So we'll be back to film um, the simulation. Okay, so we have our patient here um, restrained by an assistant in lateral recumbency, and we're going to go ahead and um, simulate the urinary catheter in a male cat. So we have our um, Tomcat catheter here. Try to keep this as sterile as possible. We have our sterile lube. So we're going to estimate the length of the catheter that you would need. So it's pretty much the whole length because it's a short little catheter. Um, his bladder would be right about here and right about there. So it is the entire length of this Tomcat catheter that we would use. We're going to go ahead and attach this to our sterile syringe here and run it through the sterile lubricant. And keeping that clean, we're gonna use this little sterile paper that we saw up here and set that on it. So we would cleanse the tip of the penis with the chlorhexidine solution and the chlorhexidine on the wipe. Um, I will actually try to extrude his penis a little bit if he would allow me so that we can see the procedure, so. He's actually missing a leg, so it's a little more difficult to get a hold of it, which is why I'm not having the assistant do it. Okay, so we have it extruded, and we would cleanse the tip, and then take our catheter here, and insert gently into the urethra, um, into the penis and into the urethra. We would draw back our sample, and then we would pull out in one motion. We would take our sample here, if it was full of urine, Connect it with our 22 gauge catheter, uh, 22 gauge needle, and put the sample into our vacutainer that would be labeled with his name, which is Harley. And then we would store that sample properly in the refrigerator. So um, since he is awake and alive, we're not going to actually perform the procedure, but that would be how you would do it. So you would estimate the length, you would apply the sterile lubricant. You would insert into the penis once it's extruded, get your sample, and pull out in one motion. So that is a urinary catheter simulation in a male cat.